Welcome back to DOS Dungeon, where I play all my old DOS games again. So let's get this started. So the first game we have is Atomics, also known as Einstein's first and last game. I wonder which he regrets more, this or the atom bomb. Let's do a one player game. I'll use the keyboard. Alright, so I'm guessing I have to form a water molecule out of the atoms I've been given. It says water in the corner right there, so yeah. Just need to get an H on both sides of the O. Simple. This is basically the nerdiest puzzle game. They couldn't just have a regular puzzle that's like, gotta put chemistry in it! It's too easy if there's no chemistry! Okay. Since my knowledge of chemistry is basically zero, I should probably quit while I'm ahead. Let's see what's up next. This is Arcade Volleyball! It's exactly what the name implies. And I'm gonna set this to computer. The gameplay is pretty basic, just you gotta keep the ball off the ground and you can jump and whatever. Get the ball over there. Computer box up. Can't handle... What are you doing? Just hit the ball! Jesus. I think this game might take place in some sort of post-apocalyptic future. The volleyball apocalypse happened. Basically all that's left was volleyball. Which is a bummer since these guys have no hands and that's what's used to play volleyball. They have to use their freakishly large heads. Why do you might think like looking at this like, oh my god this game is so shitty, it's so basic and garbage. This is what a video game was back in the day. Like, if you said video game this is what people thought of. So yeah, this, this is actually pretty fun. It's simple, but it's fun. I'm just gonna let this guy win. So you can see what happens when he wins. Nothing happens! Yay! Let's do something else. Welcome to Bananoid, otherwise known as fucking Breakout. Where are all the bananas? False advertising, goddamn. Oh god. The ball got really fucking fast all of a sudden. Oh, oh, god. It's... It's fucking Breakout, come on. There's like a billion of these games. Everybody made their version of this game. Everybody who wanted to get into games programming. Okay, that's... F okay, well... What the f- Oh, there's another- Whoa, what?! Wow, that's- I'm just gonna end it on that, that was crazy. That's the plot twist. Welcome to DOS Dungeon, where you get to watch me play every breakout clone ever made. How many of these are there, goddamn? You know what? Let's just take a moment to reflect on our lives. You know, just think things through. I really hope all these breakout clones are at the beginning. <laughs> Why do I even have so many of these? <gasps> Q for quit. Yeah, enough of this. Welcome to the world of barbarian or B A B A R B A R I A N. All right, let's go with CGA graphics. Let's see how it looks. Uh. Uh. Actually, let's go with EGA. Barbarian. That's real high quality voice acting. Keyboard. Game speed one. Oh, the keyboard moves the mouse. It's way too fast. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh. It's not even the sound you make when you die, that's just the sound you make when you're like fucking Ow my foot! Ah! Oh. I've completed 6% of Barbarian, that's 6% too much. Let's try faster! Oh Jesus. This is not faster, this is way slower. What the hell? Go this way. Yes, walk. And, uh, move my mouse this way, just kill this piece of shit. Oh my god, I did something. This is awesome. Okay, walking, let's see if we can make past this thing. Stop. Hammer time. Walk, stop. No, you idiot. Ah, jump over, you sucker. Now go back, because we need the sword. Oh, uh, yeah. I... Let's just quit this and forget this game ever existed. Oh, yeah. This is Lakers vs. Celtics by Electronic Arts. It's basketball. In case you didn't figure it out. How many total wins do the Denver Nuggets have in the NBA playoffs? I'm gonna go with zero. Nope. Let's try this again. Hope I get a better question this time. What winning percentage do the Detroit Pistons have in the NBA playoffs? I don't know. I can't type that, so I'm gonna go with five. My encyclopedic knowledge of basketball has failed me! Shit. Let's just move on. I bet this game sucked anyway, so whatever. Oh hey, it's Tetris! I like Tetris. Oh, hey, it's a garbage version of Tetris. You only get one type of block. But you get colors! Woo! Match the colors! Yeah. A lot of puzzle games this episode. Oh, well, you gotta play the puzzle games sometime. I mean, I can't skip them. Even though I would want to, but... Gotta do all these games. Alright, I think I'm done with this. What is the distance statistic for Chris Rosh and... Who knows this shit? Bleah. Surprise, I got it right! Of course I knew that. Come on, everybody knows that. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Difficulty level. Let's do beginner. And do a little practice run. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see which one has the biggest numbers. You have half of the last guy, so I'm gonna take the last guy. Yeah. Look at this guy, yellow bike. Yellow means fast. Yellow means go, right? We're gonna race in Yugoslavia, because that exists. I remember this being pretty, pretty good graphics back in the day. So, it's a bike game. Surprise. You're racing around in the fucking radioactive sea. And I like how far away the fucking crowd is if you look at that. They're like miles away from you. They're looking at you with binoculars. Can I do anything stupid? Like a time trial is kind of boring. Let's do something else. All right, let's go. Oh, I have to qualify. Fuck. Oh shit, sick ass wheelie. Oh my God, this game is awesome. I don't care if the crowd is a mile away. This is so cool. Also, I'm noticing the scenery is pretty much the same in every single location. Which is kind of weird. Da, 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 da. You can't really actually expect that much from games like this back in the day, because... I mean, it's amazing that they fucking did this anyway. Like, have all this fucking track and 3D shit. Prepare to race! Let's go! Fuck you other guys! Ooh! Fuck that guy up in front. Yes. Yes. Die. Ah. Ah, die. I hate your bike number 88. Eight is my least favorite number. 
I probably could have passed him if I wasn't fucking around so much. Probably. Look at the guy chilling in the rear view mirror. <gasps> the sense of depth isn't that great in like this game. Like, you can't tell how far away people are. They just jump around. Where's the flat guy? I wanna kill him! Oh wait, it's three laps of this? If I quit. It's going to pit stop. Except there are no pits to stop in, so. Great! Oh no, my bike is out of control! Ooh, no! Let's try to get to the crowd. Oh, there's an invisible wall. Okay, let's just pretend I had a seizure and died. Tote pit. Decent. So those were the games I played this time. Um, I played a... Uh, I didn't play as many games as I did last time, so I wanted to make this video a bit shorter. And because of that, I kind of got stuck with a bunch of puzzle games. But I actually took a look at the games that come after this, and man, the next episode we're gonna see some bangers! Some real games, man! So see you next time!